In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the Broish Pagan test and the Coanker test, both of which are tests of homoscedasticity. I mentioned in the textbook that the Coanker test is probably the better one, and so probably you should use that one in the absence of compelling evidence to use anything other than the Coanker test. I mentioned in the textbook that you have to run SPSS as an administrator to run this test. And I'll note here that if you can't run SPSS as an administrator, you still have access to the correlation approach to testing homoscedasticity that I showed you in the textbook as well, where you just calculate the correlation between the predicted value and the absolute residuals. And if you don't see a correlation that's significant, then you can assume homoscedasticity. This test here is considered more sophisticated. I honestly don't know if it really is better or not, but it is commonly observed. So you need to run SPSS as an administrator. And how you do that is one way, at least in Windows, is search for SPSS. In, so make sure SPSS is not open. And then try to find SPSS. And it will find it fairly quickly. And then right click on SPSS, the um, program. And you'll see that you have the option to run as administrator. And click that. And Windows will give you a prompt and just say, yes, you want SPSS to run this program because you're going to actually change something in SPSS with the macro. So this might take a few seconds, depending on the type of hard drive you have, to get it up and running. So now I've got SPSS up and running. I now need to install the program created by Ahmad Darianto that is an SPSS macro that can test this. So if you type Broish Pagan Macro Ahmad, you'll get it as a top hit. Actually, if you spell it correctly, there you go. You'll get it as a top hit. So click on that. And you'll see that you have an option here to download the macro. So download the macro and save it somewhere that you remember because you're going to have to install this macro into SPSS so that you can run the test. So I've already saved the macro here into a folder that I'm familiar with. And I can see the program right here. And what I have to do is I have to get SPSS to install this macro as a custom dialog. Now, depending on what version of SPSS you're running, that option to install through the custom dialog utility might be in utilities. And you'll see something down here. So this might be version 22, 21, 20, something like that. You might see it here. In later versions, they've placed it in extensions utilities. The main thing is you have to try to find somewhere this install custom dialog option. So it might be in extensions. It might be in utilities. I don't know where it will be for you for sure. So I click on install custom dialog. And it opens up. Just make sure you, you can find where you need to find the Darianto macro and once you see it highlight it and then open it and it tells me that the dialog files were installed so the only way that can happen is if you're running as administrator now what's happened is is SPSS has included a new option in your regression utility so see heteroscedasticity test by Ahmad Darianto that is a new element to your menu and that should stay there indefinitely so if you close SPSS and then open it up again you should still see it. Now, you need to open up the data file to analyze. And I'm going to use this data file here that I've been using for some time with the education and earnings example. And I've run the regression in the past. And I have, do have some confidence that homoscedasticity has been satisfied because I looked at that in the foundation section of the chapter with an examination of the scatter plot, which is a little bit more of an art than a science. And also, I did it with the correlation between the predicted values and the absolute residuals. So now I'm going to do it with the Coanker and Broish Pagan test. So go into Analyze, Regression, Heteroscedasticity, click on that. And the outcome variable is the dependent variable. Earnings per day is what I'm trying to predict from education. Put that in there and click OK. And SPSS is going to produce some output. And you can see that I've got the whole regression analysis. You can do this in SPSS. Typically, that's where you would do it. You can see education, unstandardized slope, 7.609, and the standard error, t value, and the p value. We've seen all this already in SPSS. But the main part that we want, though, is this part here. 
go down to the bottom and you'll see that the LM stands for Lagrange multiplier and you can see that for the Coanker test which is the preferred test more often than not the Lagrange multiplier is 0.733 and the significance is 0.392 now because this significance level is greater than 0.05 it's not statistically significant and that's a good thing in the sense that the assumption of homoscedasticity has been satisfied. And the Broish Pagan test is saying the same thing. 0.421 is also saying that the homoscedasticity assumption has been satisfied. When you see a significance level for the Coanker test or the Broish Pagan, depending on which one you use, if you see a p value that less than 0.05, then you can't trust the standard error associated with the unstandardized slope. And so you have to make some sort of adjustment. And I talk about applying an adjustment in the subsequent section of this chapter.